How y'all doing? If y'all rocking with us, y'all already know who we are. Tres Neches. So you got already. me. Already. the chef. My boy Q Q. Hey. Let's go. Hey, Let's man, go, we got to do something like uh, yeah, off of Martin with uh, the intro music, like Cole. Be like, do 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 do. You know what I mean? Just... <laughs> hey, <laughs> there we go. We in there. <laughs> We got a lot to talk about. By the way, y'all um not only like and subscribe because y'all like the sports talk we're gonna talk about, but like and subscribe because y'all rock for all three of us. Trace Neche is sport. I'm about to say sports talk. I'm I'm under the influence. And that's <laughs> why- <laughs> but the Trace Neche show podcast, corner dojo, do the shelf, cool cue. But yeah, enough for all that. Yeah. Let's talk about it, man. Sports news. We got a lot to talk about today. Uh, we got the Pac-12 because it's gone. Bye-bye. We got Alvin Kamara and his situation with his homeboys. I, I, I need to know a little bit more on that. And we got a little NFL list we're going to talk about, too, who, who we feel up under pressure. You need a little fire on the ass. Pause. Yo, my nigga. Yo, the you way are... you said it was crazy. <laughs> So uh, let's go ahead and get right to it with the Pac-12, man. All right, man. So first of all, um, I'm ready for the college football season. That's not that's one thing. But hey, man, look like the Pac-12 ain't doing so hot because everybody gone. It's like it's one of those moments. Right. Look, they it, it's like that moment when you in a uh, Thanksgiving and everybody dip because nobody want to do dishes. It's kind of <laughs> one of those situations. So I already knew that. We already knew that uh, USC and UCLA were going to try to dip out to the Big Ten. But mm-hmm. after that, all of a sudden, we get uh, reports that Oregon and Washington are trying to join the Big Ten now. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's also reports that uh, Arizona, Arizona State, and Utah actually made a deal with the Big 12. And then, of course, uh, here recently, Colorado is considering is actually going back to the Big 12. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know. but So... With that being said, only schools you have left would be with Washington State, Oregon State. Well, at, at this moment, it looks like it, it's official. Oregon, Washington, oh, is on. Yeah. yeah. So, all right. So, yeah. So, that means you got Wazoo, you have Oregon State, Stanford, and Cal left. That's yeah, right. Because, yeah, because Utah and Arizona State applied for the Big 12. Yeah. So, and yeah. everybody, yo, the Big 10 is going, ah, yo, that's going. I don't it's, know, man. It's gonna be interesting, man. I, yeah, I hate to see it because you're breaking up all these. Because now you're you're not gonna have like certain games anymore. So, uh, the, I'm telling you, man, it's like the we ain't gonna get that feeling like we used to back then because those games matter. The Rose Bowl in Los Angeles matter. Yeah. The Orange yeah. Bowl in Miami matter. Miami? You know what I'm yes, like, but we're moving more towards. I would say it's like an open border college football, which you know what? I, here's my here's what I say: they should just do away with conferences overall. We should make it where you got a, a NCAA or college football East, college football Central, college football West, and then y'all figure it out from there. But other than that, <laughs> I'm just saying because like other than a that, the SEC, in four regions, yeah, because yeah, um, there's even reports like for the SEC that Florida State and uh, Clemson are considering trying to get into the sec yeah so, because yeah. yeah yeah so eventually all these other small conferences are going to be dead who's going to lead it but this, it's like, then you got those teams who they're like the mountain west i think them in the pac okay. 12 is going to get together <laughs> possibly um yeah. and they just gonna have to whoever whoever is going to be the top dogs over there see they're going to get a seat at the table because going forward, it's going to be 12 teams. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So th- that's the reason why a lot of this is going on. You know but, what I'm saying? Man, let's, also, let's also talk about this, bro. Imagine you in the Big 12 and you play in West Virginia. Now you got to go over to play in Utah. You got to travel across the country to go play a game, bro. That's <laughs> crazy. And then say after that, you got to go all the way back to mm-hmm. play. Who else in the Big 10? I mean, don't don't you? Yeah, yeah, they're the Big, big, yeah. Yeah, they're the big Twelve. Yeah, you, uh, West Virginia's in the Big Twelve. So then you fly back home, and then it's like, oh crap, we gotta go play Texas. We gotta now yeah, fly yeah, back to Austin. <laughs> so I'm just saying before hey. they leave, because you know, 
or UH in my bad. Yeah, UH got back in the Big 12. So oh Houston in the 12 now? Yeah, yeah. I believe Houston's in there now. So okay. It yeah, it's gonna get wild, man. Um I don't know what they're gonna do about it if they're actually going, which honestly, if I was a Pac 12, I would have got ahead of this early. Like uh I don't know why USC and UCLA decided they want to leave. I don't know if it was a revenue thing, but you needed to keep them in there. Yeah. Yeah. And then I, oh man, like that stuff, man. I I don't understand it. Man. It just blows me every time I see it. It's like, yo, y'all destroying everything, but it's a money game. It's a ploy because they know this NIL stuff matters, which means by the time all this stuff happens, the SEC just going to have an SEC schedule. The yeah. uh, Big Ten is just going to have a Big Ten schedule. And y'all just going to fight it out for playoff spots. Oh, here we go. Here, here's a new concept. SEC versus everybody else. That's ah! it. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, that might go work. That might go work. I'm just saying, SEC versus the world. Hey, look, just let them rock. Let them cook. Hey. It's all. If, if Clemson join, you know Miami going to join and Florida State want to join. So Miami going to try to have somebody else come with them too. So this is not well, I, The funny thing is, is uh, well, there's rumors that the SEC doesn't want Miami. I don't know why. And they were, they were saying that they're more built for like the Big Ten, which that would be interesting oh. too. So I don't know. Mm, they don't want them. Yeah, I don't. Well, I mean, let's be fair, man. Miami haven't been Miami since what? You're right. Oh, but was, who was Missouri before they go? They came to the SEC. I yo, that was wild too. Only they had like one or two good seasons with Chase. Uh, was it Chase Daniels? Chase Daniel, yeah, facts. And that yeah. was it. That was it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't understand. Even that then, it was I. Right. <laughs> I mean, the the same could also be said for A and M when they were there too, because A and M was just middle of the road Big Twelve. You right? You're you know, right. shout out to all my A and M uh, Aggies because y'all like a cold over there, but it's like we, we y'all still cool. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I rock with y'all because I I want y'all to beat Bama every year. Go Gators. <laughs> <laughs> That's biased, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. But yeah, man, uh, just keep a lookout on this one because it's I don't know what's going to happen to those other remaining four teams. I don't know who's going to pick up Cal, Stanford and all those other spots. So they move. It's going to be interesting to see what happens. It's over. It's a wrap. (laughs) Come on, man. Go get San Diego State. Ah! Okay. (laughs) By the time y'all going to try to go after the independent teams, man, they're going to be like, nah, I'm good, too. We good. Nah, they nah, they make too much money by them. So Notre Dame is never going to join a conference in it, uh, football. It's not going to happen. Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't need to.